Hi guys, I'm Kofiti. First of all, congratulations on the good job you guys are doing. You are saying show by the the real digital revolution is right here. So, as many of you know, it has been speculated through the week. Today was my last show at Kiss FM. I've been there almost four years, but uh, it came to an end today. I did my final show with Obina after going through three co-hosts, and uh, it's been a journey. It really has been a journey, and kuna vitu mobs ina come. So I don't want people to think that at the it's the last you'll hear of Kamene or last you'll see of Kamene. If anything, on Monday you will definitely hear something from me. I know there are a lot of questions, which is why I invited Robina and everyone invited you guys here. So we'll take a couple of questions so that we can also set the record straight on a couple of things. And then, uh, like I said, Tonga next week about the exclusive and deeper issues. So leo tu ni vitu za surface, you know, if there's something you are wondering about why today happened. So, who is going to start? Okay, you've said that it has been a beautiful journey. Mm -hmm. I would like you to describe it. How has it been throughout? Um, it was my dream job. It's been great. Um, I want people to know that radio is not easy. People think radio is just talking. It definitely is not. Uh, I've grown a lot, you know. Um, it's taught me a lot about my craft, about my brand, how much I can do. Also some of the stuff that I don't like and some of the things that I don't want in my life. So that's what I mean. It's been a beautiful journey because I've discovered a lot about myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is that one amazing thing that you loved about uh, being at Kiss FM? It definitely has to be talking to the people in the morning. You know, it's, um, it's amazing to interact with millions of Kenyans, to get into their homes as they're heading to work, you know, as they're moving through their day. It's an amazing thing to wake up with Kenyans. Kenyans are amazing. So I think that has been the most remarkable part of, you know, being on the morning kiss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Of course, in every beautiful journey, sometimes there are challenges. What are some of the challenges that you've faced throughout the journey? Um, I think it was also moving from, moving into mainstream media and also perfecting the craft. It takes a lot of work, guys, you know. It's not that you just go on air at six. So the challenges have been the early mornings, not being able to sleep enough. Sometimes, you know, because you move from gigs to the studio, how you don't get enough sleep. Sometimes you don't even sleep. So it's been very tiring. Doing morning radio can really give you mad fatigue, but it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, who was your best co-host? Of course, you've had several. I've had three co-hosts. Easily my best have been Obina and Jalas because they're my friends. We formed an amazing relationship. They've been part of a whole lot of happiness in my life, you know. And I think that's also one of the saddest things about today is, you know, not having Obina with you every morning. Obina is such a vibe. And we've been through a lot personally together in the show, in our career. So Obina and Jalas definitely have been the best. As for the other one, I think it's pretty clear why. Yeah. Okay, we all understand that Jalas also left last year. Na pia wewe umeondoka saizi. In any way, maybe Jalas kuondoka. Pia wewe ilianza kufeel like, eh, very soon I'm going to leave this place. <laughs> I think, yeah, it also challenged me to do other things, you know. Think about self-employment. Think about, you know, having my own voice. You know, creating my own platform where other people can also benefit, you know. It challenged me to now jump into the deep end, which is where I'm at right now, and see, you know, what I can do for myself by myself. So, yes, it definitely influenced the change. It's something I'd been thinking about from around last year, let's say September. So, yes, it was a challenge, you know, and I'm excited because I haven't talked to him yesterday. He called me yesterday evening, and he's like, eh, hey, so, ndoi, and I'm like, yeah. And he's like, sawa toto, are you ready? I'm like, I. It's not even about being ready, it's knowing that you have to do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I think it did influence my decision to some degree. Mm -hmm. Also, challenged me. You know, employment can make you a bit comfortable sometimes. And I don't think I'm the sort of person who can do the same thing for several years. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. okay. you, maybe. Okay. Uh, you know, when presenters leave uh, radio or TV, yeah. they always say, I'll be around. Mm. Are we maybe uh, looking forward to see you on another station or something? It's possible. Yeah, it's possible that you will get me on another station. But 
there are also other things that I will be launching that you'll see next week that are very exciting. You know, I know that will help a whole lot of people. There are various avenues that I also want to pursue for myself. So I will get back on radio, but maybe after I finish doing what I need to do for my brand. And that's the thing. I want to focus on the things I want to do for myself and then get back on radio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also just holiday, rest, maze, nime choka, you know? And just one of the things I'm looking forward to is just living, you know? I want to go by the beach, go, you know, see Mount Kenya. Kuishi too. I want to wake up at 9.30 and be like, wow, you know? What you mean when you were in radio, it was hard to live life to the fullest? Yeah, because, you know, it's a, it's, it's a commitment you give. And it's not just 6 to 10. It's every day of your life, and every day of your life informs every other step that you're doing on radio. So it somehow limits what you can do because you're also set to particular time parameters. Mm -hmm. And now I don't have time parameters, you know? Now I can just chart my journey the way I want to, the way I have been planning to. Mm. Okay. Some of the questions that I am seeing on Google is whether Kamene aliacha job uh, voluntarily, ama alifutwa, ama kuliendaje. Maybe you can tell us about that. Um, no, I was not fired. Uh, my contract was up at the end of this month and there was no need to move forward with it. Because I also told you I just wanted more for my life, you know. So yes, my contract was up, si kufutwa kazi and... You know, and yeah, I've also seen those stories and I just look and I'm like, um, it's okay to talk, but also, you know, talk from a point of information. So no, no, I was not fired. My contract was done and there was no need to renew it. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's not that I didn't enjoy it. I, I think maybe after having other co-hosts after him, I realized that it wasn't healthy. You get? Kibe was my friend and then, of course, he left here. And I think he had an expectation that when he left, I would leave with him. And of course, I didn't. And I also think it didn't settle well with him that my life took a different turn. So I don't, I don't really understand why he does what he does nowadays. Um... I've just had a better experience with my other co-hosts, you know, and um, I'm not someone to hate someone. I just don't understand and I feel like what he does is extremely distasteful, but it works for some people. It is content, so I've chosen the two come here. Yeah. Do you guys like have a personal beef or anything? I may have no personal beef with him whatsoever, by the way. I see him Kosea. Uh, when he is talking about my business and even lying about some of the stuff that he says about me. So I had no personal beef with him. My beef is when he started now dragging my name through the mud unnecessarily for views or likes or whatever. You know, you forget that this is a person with a life, you know, and he should be the last person to throw judgment on how anyone is living their life. Because if the shoe was on the other foot, his judgment would probably be harsher. Since he was your friend, at any point after he started dragging your name, have you ever reached to him, asked him what's happening? No, 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 I haven't at all. You see, I have this, uh, I have this, uh, let me say, philosophy in life. You see, for a fight to happen, there need to be two people in the ring throwing punches. The minute someone is not throwing a punch, it's not a fight, you know? And I'm, I, have not, I have nothing to respond to him about... So, no, I haven't reached out to him, and I have no intention of reaching out to him, mm -hmm. yeah. What is that one thing that you'd like, you've ever wanted to tell him, or there is none? Nothing. Just do you. Yeah, you were too. Okay, uh, Kamene Kwanza Ngesema, I've really enjoyed you. You've been my radio bay for the last months you are on KISS Radio. Well, I want to say thank you for the memories, thank you for the good memories. Asante. Now my question goes to, I want to ask, was it the way it was handled maybe, uh, because we saw it, uh, uh, your company made a post of, uh, uh, of a new host, mm. and you were still uh, mm. serving your last week. Mm. Did you feel like it was more of a, a personal thing? Did you feel like they, they respect you? 
Was it the right way they have to do that? Because I normally see when someone left a station, it takes a time to maybe they try to create maybe a buzz, will be the next host, but they surprised you with a, with, with a post? <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't understand it, but I'm the last person to say whether it was right or wrong. You know, it's a company, there's a way they run their stuff. So I was just like, ah, yeah, Nisawa. And for me, my number one thing has just been to give really good shows up until my final show. And um, it's not like I was... The saddest thing about leaving definitely probably has been leaving my co-host behind. And But, you know... Companies are companies. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, I can't say I was shocked because I had been told about it by a friend the day before it leaked. So I was like, ah, it's okay. And you know, thing is, I had already finalized, we had already finalized on my leaving way before that post even came out. So, like I said, my focus was just to finish well. And I think that's what I've done. As for how it was done, I honestly I didn't understand it, and um, sometimes you don't have to understand it at the same time. Can you to do? Even you to people will do what they want to do. So it is what it is. Okay, allow me to add maybe additional uh, two questions if you don't mind. You being one of the queens of radio, I'll say that to be honest. Uh, she is the queen of, radio. of course, he's one among the the best queens of radio we have in two five four. One is that uh, up online. Kumekona mixed reactions. Mm. People, your fans have been defending you online because we normally see, we've seen guys uh, raising concern. They say misbehavior, absentee mm. of work, you coming to work uh, uh, not in a good uh, a state of mind. Maybe when I say, I'm going to get a lot of So, when you know, I say, because of maybe uh, a money uh, contract, you've seen maybe your brand has grown, mm. you become big. So, Kumekona is a Rumors, mm. uh, I mean, uh, I'm on radio, yake, on yake, yeah. So I don't know, maybe just to make it clear for your fans to understand uh, what really happened. That's the first question. Second question, what do you think of, I know it's not right to ask, mm. what do you think of the, of the new host? Um, so I saw the allegations and the story about um, absenteeism, Nini, whatnot. Um, and I think I talked about it last year, because last year I was sick for the towards the end of the year I was really sick and I did a video even on my Instagram and I told guys that my health had suffered significantly last year and it had been a rough year health wise you know so had I missed out on work because I was sick yes I was sick and I followed the protocol gave in the letters whatnot um, I never did show up to work intoxicated or under the influence because I ran the desk so you can't run the desk when you're drunk or when you're hanged, it's impossible. It's four screens that I'm dealing with, two different mouses, picking up calls. So it's just not possible. Um, I was sick last year, and there are days that I did miss work because I was sick. And you can't plan sickness. It kind of just happens. Ukiwa mgonjwa says, unakuwa mgonjwa. And it happens when it happens. So yes, as for people saying I should open my own radio, Nini, you never know, in the future it's possible, maybe even at the end of this year, maze kutakuwa na kazi maali, but um, like I told you right now, the focus is just living. Thank you so much to my fans who've been out there fighting the fight. I just want to let you know, but there's no fight to fight. Haters will always be there, they'll always have something to say. And I've come to learn that, you know, haters are just that, haters. And um, they have more issues than the rest of us. So let them just wallow in their own misery. And you said your other question was? was uh, what do you think about your new host? Uh, the new host, Sheila is a great lady. I've known her for a while. She's also very seasoned in the industry. And um, I'm sure she'll do an amazing, amazing job. Yeah, I, I'm missing her, Uba and Sheila. And I'm happy for her. And I'm wishing her all the best, you know. Okay. Shine. Talking of your fans, uh, most people that have been talking are the girls. Of course, we've been um, seeing you talking to the girl child, the mm -hmm. advices and everything. Probably some of them are like, Sasa, is the advices Zaka many No, of course not. They're going to be there. Actually, I'll do more of them. You'll find at least one baby girl every single day. Because now I can commit to it and I have the time for it. So don't think that the baby girls are going to disappear. You'll have one every single day on various platforms. Um, I'll be letting you know what platforms. But you know, you can just get them Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the other platforms that we shall also be opening up, which I am 
not going to tell you right now to talk about that next week. But yeah, don't worry, baby girls, but to kopa moja. There's so much stuff I have for you. How many you've mentioned that you want to live a uh, life to the fullest? And of course, online, we've been seeing you. Of, uh, the other day, you celebrated second anniversary uh, with your lover. Does it mean maybe you may feel like what a sasa pia or focus na family? Okay, uh, I'm not going to start a family anytime soon because you people know that's expensive. But um, I mean, we've been together for a minute and. It's not that I left because I want to be more with him or focus on building a family. It's to focus on everything else that my life has to offer, him included, you know. There's also a lot of stuff that we're working on together with him. We've done business together over the years. So, of course, that's also one of the things that I want to give focus to. But my name is family, please. I'm going to talk radio, join the sasa to get married and have kids and be barefoot and pregnant. You mentioned a wedding is coming up soon. Yes, 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 of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's coming up soon. And yeah, it's coming up soon, Tayona. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or you'll hear about it after it happens. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's definitely in the plan sometime this year. Mm. Some of the issues that are normally who has not drag you when it comes to your relationship, mm. it's about you and your partner. Of course, you've said that you guys have been together for quite some time now, mm. and there have been uh, some bad allegation that he also has a family elsewhere. Is it something that you'd like to talk about? Um, like I keep on saying, people tend to talk about stuff that they have no idea about. And at the same time, I really can't comment because it's not my situation. It would be unfair to comment about a situation that is outside of me. But um, it's definitely not what it seems. Now, me utukan wasana. Yeah, people call you a husband snatcher. Siju kona bwana ya watu. No, he was not married before. Clearly, there's no way we'd be getting married this year if he was married before. And um, I just say people don't know what is happening in people's lives. Okay. Which is why sometimes just don't comment, come out, Jui, because at the same time, these are people, these are, you know, human beings that are involved in it. So, yeah, I think that's all I can say. But, um, unazam tafta muulize, labda neza waelezea in more detail. But, um, yes, no, I'm not a husband snatcher. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, what about the club gigs? Are we still going to see Kamene uh, up and about doing them? Yeah, actually, I love to have fun. Um... It's also a business asset we've been able to really push. So there'll be a whole lot of that. Because I think I'm booked solid up until March. So there's good money we'll be doing with that. So of course, I'll still be partying, still be doing the appearances. And wherever I'm at, but they please pull up, let's have some fun. It's always a bash. Mm. Anyone have a question? Uh, there are a lot of people looking up to you, my fans. So, for example, uh, now nah, there are people who just love listening to you. Oh, thank you. So, in matters of content, what do you expect from you now that you talk about radio? You can expect even better and a whole lot more. Leaving radio doesn't mean that the content ends. Are you on TV? Are you on radio? But does that stop your content? The world is digital right now. I mean, look at all of you people right now. If anything is supposed to break in Kenya, it comes from you guys. You guys are the press right now without having to be a TV station. So just because I'm not on radio doesn't mean the content stops. If anything, there'll be more and it will be better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To conclude, maybe you can say one word to your fans and... Oh, before we're done, uh, you say that you've had much better time with... Oga Obina than you had with Andrew Kibe. So, if assume you are given a new contract with Andrew Kibe and it pays more, would you take it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. And why is that? I told you it, it just wasn't a healthy work environment, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. Yeah, maybe one word to your fans and assure them that Baby Girl is still around. Of course. Uh, Wase Asante Sana. A lot of my journey and where I am today is because of you. I really appreciate the support. Don't go anywhere. I have so much more for you. Baby girls, you have no idea what I have in store for you. We're going to make money this year. My baby girl, tutajenga imuaka, tutafungwa mabiashara imuaka. And we'll walk through it together so that we are all prosperous. So thank you so much, Nawapenda. And um, yeah. I'll see you guys to Patane on the other side. Okay. Thank you so much, Kamene. Yes. We really appreciate for your time, okay. and we wish you all the very best. Santi. Okay. Thank you, guys. Till next time.